Hi, it's Liz Needham. Let's have a look at the answer to question 1b. So it's talking here about, normally we would assume that 50% of our students are male. And the principal that we talked about earlier looked at their sample of students and they found that the, he thinks, that he or she, thinks that the proportion of male students in that region is greater than 50%. So we want to talk about now how about a simulation could help this principle to determine whether this is in fact true. So how likely is it that the proportion of males is greater than 50% and this isn't just random sampling error. So they're not asking us to design the simulation. They want us to talk about simulating in general and why we would do it and a bit of some ideas behind it. So in this particular case, what the main thing that we want to do is that when we do any kind of simulation, the whole purpose of that simulation is to explore how much variation there is. So in this case, what we've got is we've got one single school. And we don't know whether this one snapshot of data in July 2018 is that representative of lots of years of data, of lots of other schools in that region, and so on. We've only got this one estimate. So by designing a simulation, that's going to allow us to see how much this estimate that they found is likely to vary. So remember, we found that the probability of being male for this data, there were 194 males out of the 343 which that is in, as a decimal is 0.5656. And so we want to know is how much variation is there around about that value. So could that um, value there vary anywhere between 40% and 60%? Or is that going to be pretty accurate to maybe between 54% and 58%? So that's what we want to know is how much variation is there likely to be. So that's one of the things that the simulation will do. A simulation will give us an estimate of the variation in the data. So what we want to be able to do is we want to be able to compare um, the data itself with the simulated data. And we want to see um, how what's the chance let me change that what is the chance that this data is representative? So this single data value here of 194 out of 343, how likely is that? What's the chance that this is true for the whole region? So if you're able to make a small discussion here and you don't include any inform any statistics, so you don't include, for example, that probability of males being 56%, then that will get you through to a merit or an R. If you've got a clear discussion and you're talking about this idea of sampling variability, um, sampling variation, and you've got numerical evidence with it, then that would get you through to a T. Thanks for watching.